Hey guys, and today is the 20th anniversary of the 2002 movie Ice Age. Yup, Ice Age turns 20 years old today. And it stars Ray Romano, John Leguizamo, Le and Dennis Leary from the Academy Award winning creator of Bunny. And it's also with Simon Pegg and Jack Black. And it's, and it's been exactly 20 years that this movie came out to theaters on this day in 2002. And so I actually remember watch, watching some of this movie on TV and on, and on the computer and what it is. I see it's from 2002. I can definitely tell it's one of the best movies of 2002 and definitely the best film in the series. One of Blue Sky Studios' first movies that they ever created. And once the Ice Age franchise was opened, they decided to do some sequels like Ice Age The Meltdown, Ice Age Dawn of the, of the Dinosaurs, Ice Age Continental Drift, and Ice, and Ice Age Collision Course, which is definitely one of the worst Ice Age movies of all time. And also with the recent Ice Age movie, the first Ice Age movie to be released by Disney, was the Ice Age Adventures of Buckwald. And I could definitely tell that the Ice Age Adventures of Buckwald is definitely one of the worst movies of 2022 so far. Right next to the 355. And I heard about them making a Sabbath movie. Which I think the Ice Age movies, the, the sequels, are just more entertaining for the kids. Because kids love the Ice Age movies including us. Like, I could definitely tell that's one of Blue Sky Studios' first movies up till 2019 with Spice in the Sky. It's with Spice in the Skies. With Spice in the Skies. Up until they closed last year, back in 2021, because of COVID. But it's old news, and we just need to get over it. But it's also the 20th anniversary of Resident Evil, which happy 20th anniversary to that movie. And I can, I can definitely tell that one of the Ice Age movies have great soundtracks, including The Sit Shuffle, which was later released on Continental Drift. And I actually remember listening to The Sit Shuffle when I was in school after the fourth one came out. And, and the Sid Shuffle, I can definitely tell it's a good song. I definitely remember hearing this song at school a few, a couple times. After Continental Drug came out to feeders. And Continental Drift makes the franchise go downhill in 2016 with Collision Course. And I can definitely tell that. They've been, they've been placing every new every new character played by different celebrities. Like we know Drake, Nicki Minaj, they were on the fourth one. And Jesse J, who is also a singer as well, was on the fifth movie Collision Course. And Queen Latifah was in the was in the movie too. And they also put one of these adult jokes in there. Which animated movies have adult jokes. Some of them for adults that they like. But they call it hysterical. In a funny way. Because I know a lot of people did not like one of the sequel, Did not like the fifth and sixth film. And they're, and they're coming out with a... And I heard they're coming with a seventh film. Which... Hopefully it should be at least be better than Collision Course and The Ice Age Adventures of Buck Wild, which is the recent Ice Age movie in the series. And you guys need to stop being so harsh on the Ice Age movies. I mean if if people go to see them, they're going to be making more. I mean don't get too harsh on the Ice Age sequels. You'll be like, ugh, let's see how it goes. 
Hope it's hope it's an improvement. Well, it's not because Collision Course was the was the worst Ice Age movie ever. And this was the second franchise for 20th Century Fox that they milked. The first being Home Alone. Which I could care less for the first two Home Alone movies. The first two Home Alone movies I can tell are the best ones. With Macaulay Culkin. But two, three, and but two, three, but three, four, and five, I could definitely tell they're the worst ones. And for Home Sweet Home Alone, that's even more worse too as well. And for Home Sweet Home Alone, I thought they were going to put Macaulay Culkin for it, but guess what? They ended up replacing a new cast member. And I could definitely say, this and the first two Home Alone movies are definitely so much time, are, are so much a million times better than the sequels, than the upper piece of crap sequels. Which I can definitely tell they're the worst 20th Century Fox movies of all time. But not as worst movies as they are. Because there's worse sequels out there. Like I hated Jack Reacher Never Go Back. And. And Stuart Little Dree Call the Wild. Those are the two sequels that I did not like at all. I just. I did I didn't like them. Sub Zero Heroes. So that's what the poster says. So nothing else to say about the Ice Age movies because people praise a lot about it. But with that being said, on this day in 2002, Ice Age came out to feeders. Happy 20th anniversary. And so thanks for watching. Until next time, this is Gladys Benny as T-Dodge 2001. See you later.